Now, hey, what's happening, everyone? Sir James coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to give you guys a product review on some wireless earphones, which I have right here. I do apologize, though, if my voice seems kind of off. I'm still pretty much well sick, but I needed to get this review done for you guys. So here we have it. Now, these here, which I do apologize about my pronunciations. I've never been good with pronouncing words, um, but this is the Napron. Uh, wireless earphones. Now these are pretty expensive on Amazon. They're about $22 or $23 and they actually work extremely well. And basically, you know, some may, people may say, well, why get wireless earphones over something like just ones that are completely wired? Well, for one, when it's wireless, this is all you have to work with. Very easy, lightweight. You don't have to worry about this getting all tangled compared to something like this, or again, you're always constantly trying to unravel this and that way, too, if you kind of happen to be moving around a lot, you don't have to worry about this getting caught on different items. Like I've had it a few times where uh, this will end up getting caught on the, a doorknob because I, I let the wires hang out instead of like putting it under the shirt like most people tend to do. Uh, but again, everyone has their personal preference on how they like to have their headphones on. Uh, but for this item here, it's actually very simple to use. Uh, first off, you don't have to worry about batteries, but you do have to remember to charge it. There's actually a little slot here where the USB cable go in. Uh, the door is a little bit of pain to open up, but there's like a little bit of a notch on the side. So if you don't really have any fingernails, just kind of keep that in mind. But there's a little notch here where you can basically ch plug in the charging cable that is supplied with the unit. And basically to hook this up with your phone, it's actually very simple. All you need to do is basically go to this little black box here. You're gonna notice that there are three different uh, symbols there. There is the positive and negative for basically increasing the volume and decreasing. And there's also a triangle here. To connect it with your phone, it's actually very simple. It could be phone or mobile device or basically anything that has a Bluetooth signal that you're trying to listen to music from. You basically click this little center button here and then basically this is going to blink red at first when it's powered on and it's going to start blinking blue indicating that it's now on Bluetooth. Then all you need to do is basically take your device, in this case I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Note 8, uh, go up here to the settings, enable the Bluetooth command. Uh, as you can hopefully see there, it's indicating as a BH01 Bluetooth device. Go ahead and select the one for pairing and then all you're gonna do is click done, and that's it. And then all you need to do is basically put in your headphones, like so. So whether or not you're just using applications like watching Netflix, and of course these are marked as a right and left. So you know whether or not you're on YouTube or any application that has sound, you basically just go to whatever it is that you needed to go. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and go to a music app, uh, select what music I want which uh, this one just crashed on me. But hey, it's the process to review. Sometimes that happens. Select which one I want. Click play. Right now it's loading. All right, and we are good. Now, by default, uh, do keep in mind that when you have this on, uh, sometimes the volume won't be like all the way loud uh, because when you try to max it out, you actually get like an indication, like an orange line uh, basically, when you're near that orange line, it says, you know, there's like a danger to listening to the volume at super high levels. But if you wanted to crank it up, you can. It's totally up to you. You could always surpass that. Um, as for how the sound quality is, it actually works pretty good. I have not had any problems where the signal will kind of break in or out. Uh, basically, even when I'm under a bridge, uh, it's not like it's having some miscommunication issues. And I was never once interrupted during my time using this product. Uh, now, the other thing, too, in regards to its battery life is that these actually last for quite a long time. Ever since I got these, I basically have them fully charged and I have yet to charge them back up again. Now, I don't know, uh, again, because they haven't gotten to that point yet. I don't know if there's something on here that might indicate that, you know, hey, you know, these are pretty low. You need to charge them or anything like that. But when you do connect them, you do have a sound that says basically Bluetooth connected. So I'm feeling that there might be a program in there that might let you know that, oh, hey, you're going to have to charge these up. But like I said, overall, these are pretty neat, easy to use. Again, they're very inexpensive. And, you know, for the price that they are and what you can get, uh, I'd easily give these a 5 out of 5. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And a link to this 
is also below as well. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.